name is Zachary Nolan. Welcome back. And as you can see, I have people over, so I'm I'm in here. I'm in here. I'm not making I'm not making them listen. But yes, the Jets win again, six to three over the Pittsburgh Penguins to improve to five and zero oh on the season. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. Honestly, this game was. It mainly made for Brian Little, so that, but going into this game, there's a lot of stuff that happened other than just getting to watch people interview Brian Little. What changed? Rasmus Kupari is out. The Gus Bus is in. Logan Stanley's off the IR and in. And um, Hayden Fleury's out, which I don't agree with. And also, Hellebuck's out and Comrie's in, which I think is probably the right call. I think being able to use your depth is probably, in hindsight, early in the season, getting your depth in is good. However, it was kind of frustrating the way they did it. I was just like, okay, we didn't need to do it all at once, but oh well, I digress. Let's just look at first at a little bit of the Brian Little tribute stuff, because that's just great to see. <laughs> talked about in the first video when it was announced when i announced it as a transaction because technically it is um brian little is an immensely important person in the history of the winnipeg jets and shell probably will probably get his jersey retired at some point he was literally the first main person the winnipeg jets had with dustin bufflin he was the guy uh up front he was amazing on the ice and off the ice got the first hat trick in 2.0 history all that stuff. He was just a leader, and he was amazing at it. Um, let's go into the first period. Not a lot ha I Actually, not a lot. To say nothing happens in this first period is deceiving, because no goals are scored. However, I'd say the first period is a good period by the Winnipeg Jets. And in another game, another season perhaps, this is a game where the Jets would show that because they weren't able to get the lead in the first period, they would eventually lose this game because the next other two periods weren't great. That kind of looked like it was going to happen going into the second period because the first period was so good, but the results just weren't there. Jets had immense opportunities uh, going up against uh, Alex Nedeljkovic, who just got the call up because Tristan Jari has been struggling. Also, Rutger McGrory wasn't there, and the crowd let him know. Uh, Rutger will not get to visit Winnipeg this season because uh, the Penguins only visit once, and the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins don't play in Manitoba at all. So, missed opportunity, but I digress. It, gets to actually, it doesn't get to sidetrack from Brian Little Knight, so I'm happy with that. First period, no scoring. Let's ask Carter his opinion on the game. And this is how you fucking carry oh, Come on! Yeah! Good morning, afternoon, and my turn, jackass! Sweet! Get the fuck out of here! What a stop by Hell! So, Jets win 6-3 to three on Brian Little Night. Boys, how we feeling? How good. we feeling? We're doing pretty good. I'm not going to lie. This is I, I was very happy about the The where is Rutger chance, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, there were some soccer fans in that corner there, I swear. Yeah, no, they were they were going at it like the whole, like, at least third period. But overall, good game for the Jets. Uh was nice seeing uh, Nemesnikov on, I believe, his... Uh, 300th Jets game or something like that. I can't remember. 300 exactly. points, I thought. Or 300, 300 points, points, that's what it was. Yeah, 300 points. Uh, grabs himself a goal there. Uh, and then overall, it was nice to see Brian Little uh, on the ice being able to kind of skate around for uh, for the Probably for a bit at the start. His career. Exactly. And yeah. so, all in all, uh, glad that the Jets now go to 5-0. and uh, Only team left in the National Hockey League that is still undefeated. And let's see how long that lasts. So, back to Zach. Good stuff. Good stuff. 
Boy was happy. Boy got to see the game, which was great for him. Honestly, I saw the Sharks game, so he saw this one. He's also doing well. You should check out his uh, his uh, Blue Bombers content and his football content. So, we go to the second period, and after having a great first period, the Jets have a bad first half of the second period. They are getting dog-walked in their own zone by the Pittsburgh Penguins. The fact that the Penguins don't have a, a, the Penguins don't have depth, they have experience. That's that's how I describe the Pittsburgh Penguins. Do they have depth? No, but they have experience. And sometimes those guys can create hell for another team, like Kevin Hayes, who is wide open to end this power play to score to make it one nothing reaction here. Oh. Ah! God damn it! Oh God damn it! The former Jet Kevin Hayes. one nothing Wait, Pittsburgh. It's, it's Iowa Wild now? God damn it! Exactly. That's a tough one, because I get why it happened, but it's like, God damn it. God damn it. I wish it didn't happen like that. Um, and then, not long afterwards, um, and also, don't blame Comrie on... Comrie, I'm only going to get slack for in the third goal when we get to it. The first two, the guy is wide open. Uh, the second goal um, is Lars Eller left way alone in front. He scores a make 2 nothing reaction here. No! Oh, brother, it's happening again. How do you leave him that far open, honestly? Now, fortunately, the Jets start turning things around. On a delayed penalty, a feed over to Kyle Connor, and he snipes it short side on Nadelkovich to make it a 2-1 game reaction here. How are you going to score? Nobody's near the net. Oh, yes! Holy fucking shit! Woo! Now, I'm going to be honest, Santino. I think this is 100% offside, and this goal is coming back. But oh, we, get a power play. we get a power play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Random blonde woman. <laughs> and then keeping the momentum going, Mark Shifley on a shot that gets kind of bounces around. It's kind of similar to the Eller goal in the sense that the puck just bounces around the crease area, and a guy picks up the rebound. Eller, uh, Shifley will score to make a 2-2 reaction here. Over, over, get to the net, people. And then on four on four play, Nikolai Ehlers finds a soft zone of the ice and feeds it over to Vlaslav Nemeskov, who takes a 3 2 lead with, with only with under a minute to play in the second period reaction. Here. Keep it on. Keep going. Keep going. And yeah, that'll take us to the end of the second. It was a period that the Jets salvaged and actually came out with the lead in. And if you would ask me, did the Jets deserve to be leading? I'd say probably not. But every time they had opportunities in the second period, they capitalized, which is a good cover for every time in the first period when they had opportunities and they did nothing with them. Um, I will say this. One thing that was driving me nuts, the Jets in the chest, shot in the chest at least eight times. Morgan Barron... You're you're great. You're great. You are great. But if you, if I need you to aim better, remember that goal he scored against against Buffalo last year, and I was like, oh my god, I didn't know he had it in him. Yeah, because Morgan Barron is great at generating opportunities, but he's bad at finishing them, and it drives me a little bit nuts. I'm not going to go on a huge tangent here, but he's got to pick a corner sometimes. So end of the same period. What time is it? Moose watch! Oh. Moose watch. So the moose hit a bit of a snag. Um, after going 2-0 to start the season, they drop uh, two straight, I believe, against the Grand Rapids Griffins, uh, losing 2-1 and 1-0. I think they lost both. I know they've lost one at least. Uh, however, Tyson MP does get his first goal in the Antlers uh, for the Moose. Uh, Conley gets to draw in as well, so they are getting to move depth around and see how it's going. Overall, I, I haven't been disappointed with the Moose. I think 
they're doing about as well as people would have them be doing at this point. It's still a very raw team, and so how that plays out is going to be interesting. I like every game for me, honestly, with the moves. I don't have high expectations. It's a fun little test. It's, it, it's not even a test. It's a rubric. It's a criteria. It's not... You can't fail, but I just want to see what's in there, if that makes sense. Now, talking about that, somebody who is struggling, Colby Barlow on the Oshawa Generals has not made his presence known, actually. And and, and that's in comparison to guys, even like Zach Nairing, who I'm worried is going to end up being like a non-ELC gets waived type thing. He had a good couple games in, in the American Hockey League. Um, not in the American Hockey League, in the American Developmental System. Um, also, Kevin He looks amazing. Braden Yeager looks great. Kieran Walton's getting on the scoreboard. Connor Levis found, uh, had a four-point night the other night. Um, the prospects are moving. That's good. That's the good news here. Uh, Colby Barlow isn't, and that's the bad news. But yes, let's get into the third period. That was Moose Watch! So, Lars Eller, his second of the game is an absolute ungodly snipe. Reaction here. Great. Oh my god, what a shot by Lars Eller. Holy Moses. This is a snipe. However, it's also short side, which means Comrie made a mistake somewhere. Comrie does... So, on short side shots, it's complicated. But basically, one, you can't drop to your knees. If it's short side like that, you just gotta move. You also gotta keep your glove like this. He does neither. He drops to his knees and goes like this. And he does... And, and, and I know, I know... People that are that watch, have been watching the Jets for years, I know you just got a hell of a PTSD flashback when he used to do this all the time, whenever shots would go high. Yeah, 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 you remember. It's not good. Never gets the save. Ever. Ever, ever. I've never made a save like that. And I've been playing goalie since I was eight. Never, ever. Um, but you think you're going to one time, and that's why you do it. Fortunately, Adam Lowry off a face-off... Um, Shot towards the net. He cleans up the traffic in front. 4-3 Jets lead. To the custom. Oh. Yes! 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 That's the captain! Oh my god, Brian's so happy! Bless his heart. And then, not long after that, Mason Appleton with a big insurance goal. Fires it on a 4-on-2 on a rush to make it 5-3 reaction here. Yeah! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Pour it on! And then keeping it going, the Jets will end up getting the empty netter with Nino Niederreiter. He will make it 6-3 reaction here. And the Jets just claw their way through this game. They power through. Now, granted, again, I like this game. Uh, I, I think that it was important that the Jets were able to show that they could overcome adversity. However, let's look at the let's look at all the teams the Jets have played against. Who is probably the biggest competitor out of the out of the five? Oilers, probably the Edmonton Oilers. Don't say the Minnesota Wild, and it's certainly not the Penguins. Um, since then they've won, but they haven't always been the best wins. However, the wins are there. So what I'm hoping is, is that this just keep continues to build for the Jets. A lesser Jets team would have let this one get away from them. And that would have been even worse than saying, than say having a off ish night against the Penguins. The point is with this game is they won. They won the game against the Penguins. That's big. Uh, sometimes Crosby's been a real problem for us. And he wasn't tonight. Um, Comrie gets a win. That's big. Let's go three stars right now, actually. Eric Comrie's going to get third star of this game. Uh, honorable mention is going to go to Adam Lowry on the go-ahead goal. Uh, second star of the game is going to go to Nikolai Ehlers. And first star of the night is going to go to uh, Nino Niederreiter. I really liked his play in front of the net tonight, and I thought he was pretty solid. Um, overall, good game. Good game. We'll take it. We got, it's, I don't want to get too excited because this team has tempered my expectations over the last five years, 
but um, this is really good. This is really good, and the Jets are the only undefeated team in the National Hockey League currently, and they're hoping to continue that, and oh my goodness, who do the Winnipeg Jets play next? Let us check this. No, I'm not hitting Wordle. The Winnipeg Jets' next game is going to be Tuesday night, October 22nd, against the St. Louis Blues. I'll be at a concert that night, so it'll be a little late. It is in St. Louis as well, so there's that. But yeah, no, should be a good one, should be a fun one. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I know it's really early because it's a goddamn matinee game because they're playing on Sunday. We'll see you ne back next time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Comment down below, and we'll see you next time. We're trying to hit 1,900 subscribers. We are nine away. Help us out. Thanks so much for watching. One, Nicola Anders. Chips it through, gets around, and he shoots and scores!